can you make sure you send over the revised contract so we can take a look? Yeah, absolutely. I'll send them right over. <laughs> Thanks, Maria. No problem. Take care. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting, man. <laughs> you're a busy man. I'm trying to take care of my people. And right now, you're my number one priority. All right. So what you got for me, Sosa? Well, it's like we talked about. Rosters are just about filled at this point. But you're still in a great position. For the right number, just about every team in the league will want to have you. You've shown flashes of greatness over the last few years. And everybody knows if they bring you in, there's nothing but upside. No, oh, man, if it was nothing but upside, we'd have more than these one-year proof deals, though. Well, your playing time hasn't been consistent over your first four years. So they're not trying to commit long term. That's all right. No matter how we look at it, it's nothing more than an opportunity, right? Exactly. You get to live in whatever city you want for a year. You can choose to prioritize immediate playing time or look for whatever team has the best scheme fit for you. There's upside no matter where you go. Hmm. I guess that's how I should look at this process too then, right? Okay, so what's everyone trying to offer? So let's get straight into it. But before we do that, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, 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 and when you share, share to everybody you know and more. So let's see what team we're about to pick on Erdine. Yeah. Okay. 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 Six point eight, all right. Between the Steelers, Steelers, Seahawks, and Vikings, seven point seven point two six, seven point thirty two. Oh. And they pretty much the same, so. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with the, with the Steelers, man. Go Steelers, man. Accept that. Gotta go with the Steelers, man. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. I'm excited to get started. Yeah, I'll catch you later, though. Man, you ugly. <laughs> Just the man I've been waiting for. Oh, hey, I, I'm... <laughs> I know who you are, that's my job. But you don't know me yet? I'm Andy Kisner, Director of Player Personnel. Nice to meet you, Andy. Likewise. We're really happy to have you in the building. 
Thank you. I'm ready to get to work, though. Love the culture you guys have here. I think it's going to be a great fit. Well, that's our belief, too. So, look, we've got a lot to do today, so we got to get moving. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Coach Carter. Hey, Miss AK. So, you probably already know this. It's not like you're a rookie or anything, but as director of player personnel, I take great pride in making sure my players are taken care of on and off the field. Ticket requests, community outreach opportunities, travel plans, anything you can think of, I can help with it. I'm here for you. Okay, bet. I appreciate it. Like I said, the culture here was a big part of my decision. Well, it's not just me. It's throughout the entire organization. So let's get you into gear. We want to give you a chance to make sure you got everything you need for game day. Thanks, Andy. Of course. Let's see, what, let's see what they got going on. Yo, what's up, Sosa? Hey, man. Just wanted to check in with you. How are you feeling? Excited to get to work? Yeah, man. First start's gonna be nice, but I'm ready to get to it. You've got a golden opportunity, too. You might be a one-year deal, but they're gonna give you plenty of chances to prove it. You gotta be ready to take it and run with it. Come on, Sosa. You know me long enough. Yeah, I'm, big, ready I'm ready to be a star. Own. I'm ready to be a star. All right. I'm ready to watch you put on a show. Appreciate it, Sosa. Hey, the new man in town is here. Welcome to the squad, big dog. Glad you wanted to be a part of what we build in here. Yeah, it was an easy choice, man. I see the potential this offense has, and I really feel like I can help take it to that next level, you know? I knew this was the place to be. Good. Because I wasn't trying to come out of time and after one year. I know you have a lot of untapped potential. I told the entire office and staff, we needed you in this building. Hey, I appreciate that. I'm ready to put the work in. Well, it's time to put that work in. What you do in practice and in the preseason, Gonna set the tone for the type of season you have. Let's make it a good one today, all right? I'm ready to go, coach. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yo, he buff buff, like. Mm. At the confluence of the three rivers, the Ohio, the Allegheny, and the Monongahela, we are here at Pittsburgh's Akersher Stadium. Today, it's a preseason matchup between the Seattle Seahawks and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and we finally made it, partner, through the winter, through the spring, now into the summer, and football finally back. And during that... So the Steelers offense getting set for their first drive. And trotting out there, a guy who's established himself as a veteran in this league, now in his fifth year at quarterback. And there's a word that constantly gets thrown around with this guy when you talk to anyone in the building. Potential. They are sky high on what they believe he can grow into in the role of a starting quarterback. In addition, there are plenty around the league who think that as well. And years from now, he can still be leading this offense out. Throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 19 yards right off the bat. And a quick first down. They're gonna look to throw. Let's go! It's Johnson. Just shot of the 40. A good throw right there. And Charles, yeah, this first preseason game. 
It's kind of a get your feet wet type of exercise. The starters will likely only go a quarter or so and then watch the remainder of the game. So what would you be looking for if you coach on that sideline? Well, I think that since it's a get your feet wet type of exercise, the game plan's going to be fairly simple. Yeah, and what you want to see right, is how the quarterback is, is absorbed I'm things. Have is he making players. the right reads? Is he in control and calm while he's out there? there? And just going through the simple exercise you've given him so far and, and right, trying to execute well here when you're only going. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. That, and the Steelers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. That's a good throw right there, and I know it's just the preseason. But let's face it, these reps are important for him. He's trying to learn a new playbook, hopefully mesh with his new receiving core. I know it's a lot to ask, but so far, he's looking pretty good. Forced out to his and oh. he's going to go down. Just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. On any first and goal, the real estate to work with for the offense is really cut down, and the defense knows it. So they often bring heat and pressure, which they did on this play. Got him down for a loss. Not a big one, but any loss of yards. And the pressure gets to him again. They'll wind up losing three there on the sack, and that makes things tougher here on third and goal. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football, had to eat it, and ended up on the ground. Open man is Johnson. Touchdown, Steelers. One man at the top of the Touchdown there. One man at the top of the game. First score here this afternoon. I do yeah, believe we came here to see a game, didn't we? Yeah, and it looks up. like he's running what we call routes versus air. You just go out there with your offensive unit and throw the football with no defense. He's five for five on the opening drive. He was on his game there for drive number one, but my only thing is now he can't go any higher than that. He was so perfect. Can he do it again later? Yeah, all he cares about right now is making it 10 for 10, 15. Let's go, man. Ready, let's go, man. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He connected on all five of his throws on that opening drive and finished it with a touchdown pass as they begin here first and ten. Yeah, we're going to hit him with the same pass. They'll try and start this drive in the air. This one is down he goes. Buried yeah, by man. multiple defenders yeah, on the drive's first play. Take, take, uh, Back man. to throw now on Stop. second and ten. Oh, it's tipped, but he still makes the adjustment. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Ah! Heavy set out there on third and one. He'll look to throw. And they're going to get this down about the 17-yard right here. But I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, they have weapons me. everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But yeah, they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Let's go, man. They get 10 there on his own, but it'll be second down. Looking to throw. Touch. Let's go. He's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Let's go, man. Taking it in for seven man. yards away. And the Steelers lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the game. He hit him earlier in this first quarter with his arm. Now he does it with his legs. Right now, he's one of those stat stuffers that you see on the basketball court. You know, the guy with points, rebounds, assists, steals. One with the arm, one with the legs. Let's see if he can contend at this place. And tell him stop. Stay off that. I'm coming right with me. I'm coming right with me. So this one in the red column for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, it was a bit of a strange game. They were held scoring 
Bengals through the entire second half, but their first half output, that's enough to carry them to victory. And that's an odd game to watch, isn't it? Because when we saw the output in the first half, you think to yourself, okay, they've got something working here. They know what they're doing. They'll continue to along. But instead, it's goose eggs in the second half. Fortunately, enough of a cushion and enough defense to carry them home. Man, that was a good, that was a good first game, y'all. That was amazing, man. I hope y'all enjoyed. Like I said, during the game, I'm going to do, I'm going to do this series where I have two players. One on offense and one on defense. Y'all going to see the next video will be my defensive player. It's going to go offense, defense, offense, defense, offense, defense, offense, defense. Like that, back to back to back to back to back. You know what I'm saying? That's tough. All right, man. Like I was saying, uh, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification. Belly, bell, bell. Peace.